Yeah, what are we doing? We're doing a boyfriend reacts to my purchases from the real real. You should really ready? put a microphone on it. <gasps> oh, f I should. Hi everyone, my name is Emily and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today I wanted to do something a bit different. I just ordered my first package ever from The Real Real. For those who don't know, The Real Real is a secondhand designer item site, but there's also non-designer items on there like from Reformation, which is one of my favorite brands. It's summertime and I really wanted to restock for summer, so I just bought a ton of cool things for Reformation and I thought it would be funny if my boyfriend Max would react to my purchases while I unbox them. Are you ready? I guess so. Okay, so let's do it. Are you gonna try them on? I'm gonna try them on. But first we're gonna open them together. That's really loud. Sorry. <laughs> this is the first thing I got. It's a dress from Reformation. Everything's from Reformation, so I don't need to repeat myself. Alright. It looks a little long for you. It's a summer dress? Yeah, I thought so because the material is a bit sheer. Um, I don't know if you can tell on camera. I'll try it on in a second. So this is the first thing. This is the second thing, and I'm super excited about this because I love the color red, and I saw this beautiful red three-quarter sleeve top, and I knew I wanted it immediately. This is what it looks like. What do you think of this one? Off the is, bat. Is it low cut? I guess we'll find out. Nice. And the last thing I got was a similar top, similar in material, but it's a bit shorter sleeve. You just got a letter. You just got a letter. The final top. It's like very cute and girly and feminine, I thought. Yeah, you're gonna see your nipples great through that. Let's go try it on, shall we? Put it back back now. Two pops this time. All right, Max, this is dress number one. Yeah, you've got the little Angelina Jolie leg thing going here. Don't don't stretch up too far. I think the uh, the belt line overall looks pretty good. Uh, the way that the, the belt shows your waistline all right. It's it's fine. It's it gets wrinkly at the bottom. It seems like the material gets really like thin here. Yeah. I don't know. If this is a summertime dress. You got long sleeves. This I feels know. like this feels like you're going somewhere like around that time in October when it's starting to get colder, but it's still like in the 60s. Yeah. Now that I look at this, I do think it is kind of more of a fall dress, but the slit adds a bit of summery sluttiness. <laughs> No, it doesn't. See, it looks like a mix between what Miami girls wear and what like New York wannabe yuppies are wearing. In a good way? No. Not in a good way? Okay, so what's the rating out of 10 on this one? I don't know, it's like fine. Uh, can you turn around real quick? <laughs> nice. I like a six and a half out of 10. Okay, not bad, not bad. I don't know if you guys can tell in the video, this was like a pain in the ass to get on. It was really, really tight. I actually think ideally I would have gone a size up. But I'm not sure I'm gonna return it. I still like it enough. It's a secondhand side, so I can't get the exact size I want. And I don't know, I don't think you can tell it's too tight. Can you tell it's too tight? I can tell. <laughs> All right guys, this is the next outfit. I am wearing the red top. As you can see, this skirt is from Aritzia. What do we think? I'm a big fan of it. Um, I see the outfit overall looks like every like girl from the North who goes to an SCC school that has like red in the color, like Georgia, Bama, or Ole Miss, one of those, and they're going to their first football game, and this is what they wear because they're not comfortable wearing something real trashy yet. But this is a good outfit to wear to Ainsworth when, when college football comes back this fall. Okay, so what do we get? What, what kind of rating are what kind of rating are we giving this? I say solid eight out of eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Okay. Personally, I really like this. I had a lot of hesitations about this one because this is an extra small, um, and I am a bit bigger chested, so I'm usually like a. <laughs> I'm usually more like a two to four. This is probably more like a zero, but I think the material is just really stretchy and amendable for different sizes. So I'm really, really pleased with this. I do think it's a bit Y2K, but that's not a bad thing. Not for me anyway. Ooh, I'm a size zero. Look at me. No, I'm not. I'm really not. All right. What do we think about this with shorts? See, like this, this looks much more like SEC girl um, with, with like the, the jorts and everything. But uh, the thing is, you're not showing enough stomach for it. It's fine. You could do that. You should, you should put that away. Uh, <laughs> I, I think it doesn't look too bad. I think though, if you want to style it and make it look better because it's such a bright red, you need a really pale pair of shorts for that. What the hell is jorts? Jean shorts. I've never heard of that term in my life, but okay. Thanks for the feedback. What do we like it better with? The skirt or the shorts? This, just shorts. The shorts? Shorts always. Okay. What do you think of the red and blue? Is that a bit too patriotic? 
Uh, like I said, I think you need a paler color because okay. it does look too patriotic. You need you need something a little less blue, like something more pale or like washed. Okay, and outfit number three is here. We did have a few technical difficulties because this is a size medium. It is slightly, slightly too big, but because I am larger chested, I thought it would work, and I think it does, but I'm just having a little bit of trouble figuring out the right bra. So right now I'm wearing a sleeveless bra. I think I should get pasty, so, but hopefully... It's called strapless. Strapless bra. <laughs> I actually, I really like this color. It's kind of like a vanilla color. What do you think? I'm a big fan of anything that's basically like, you know, corset looking or kind of like low yeah. hanging. But I don't think it goes with jorts. I think no. you need a different type of bond because it looks more like uh, some some of that Bridgerton shit. So you need something like Bridgerton shit. The other problem with this is I would like to wear this without a bra actually. And I think a lot of Reformation items you can wear without a bra, but this one is white and my nipples are poking through it. So we're not gonna do that today. <laughs> my channel is mostly men. So, yeah. All right, what do we think of this look? It's like a little more monochrome, but not quite. So I know that's not everyone's thing. What do you think? I think it, I think it looks better than the jorts. Um, although like cream on white looks a little bit weird. I think you should get something a little different color, either something oh, darker or more beige, maybe the more Arizona brown. Skirt? Yeah. Okay. I feel like it's like, pretty cute, but Max doesn't like it. Let's do the Arizona skirt. <laughs> Keep that in the video. All right, and this is with a darker color. I think it looks better, especially because it's tucked in. It looks, it looks a little bit more flattering than if it was just hanging loose over the over the skirt, because the skirt material, like the waistband, is a lot thicker. Um, so yeah. I think it accents it better. I agree with you this time. I think it's kind of giving oatmeal colors. So it's really cute and comforting for me because I like oatmeal. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like seeing Max in videos, definitely let me know. Comment no down below. Yeah, Max is a like really good YouTube these. personality. Thank you for being in a video on my channel. Bye! Alright, so Emily's changing, but um, do you guys want to see something fun? So this is Pretty as a Peach. Uh, which is a women's body spray that Bed Bath, not Bed Bath and Beyond. Uh, uh, what's that? What's that motherfucker called? Uh, Bath and Body Works makes. Um, I don't actually wear this myself, but I have a specific purpose for it because it makes things smell really good in your room. Like I use it as an air freshener. But something I found out in college is this: you take a lighter and you spray it over there. It can make fireballs and it smells really good. It smells like a uh, Smells like peach cobbler. Anyways, y'all try it out.